Hey friends, I'm Tamara Bennett and welcome to my craft room. I'm going to be showing you around some of my best tips for craft room organization today. So stick around. So my husband got me this lovely little brush storage um, holder. I don't know what you call it, but it was on Etsy, I believe, and it comes um, with a bunch of little holes pre-drilled into it. And so my taller brushes can go in the back my medium sized brushes here and then my smallish brushes at the front. So it's a great way to kind of separate them out so that when I'm painting, I don't have to sift through a box of paint brushes. I can quickly see the tip of the paint brush that I want and grab it and uh, get started painting. So if you don't have one of these and you're more of a do it yourself kind of girl, let me show you another fun little option. Someone actually made this for me. Look how cute it is. Um, and gifted it to me at the Southern Adornments live show last year. All it is, is a bunch of little uh, tomato and soup cans, um, you know, just leftover cans. Everybody has these if you do any sort of cooking whatsoever. I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the key is to get cans of all different sizes. So you see we've got one of the really large soup cans here and one of the little bitty cans like you would get tomato paste out of here. And they have painted all of the cans and done cute little polka dots on them. And then they just put a little bit of um, glue on the inside to fuse the cans together. And then they wrap the entire thing in jute string. As you can see, I even like put a hair clip on there because sometimes when you're in here, you need to clip your hair back. But this holds a lot of my tools. I've got like extra brushes here that wouldn't fit in my brush holder. I have scissors, I've got a ruler, um, even a toothbrush. My daughter was like, why would you need a toothbrush in the craft room? She just doesn't know. It's when you're splattering paint, of course. Um, I've got paint pens, all different kinds of stuff. So this is a nice little way to corral all your supplies. A lot of you guys probably already have like maybe one can or one jar sitting on your counter with all of this stuff in it, but this holds a lot more and keeps it all together. So if you're more of a do-it-yourselfer, this is a good option. Okay, and then on the other side of my craft desk, I have this Lazy Susan that I got from Sam's Club and I love it because it has two tiers and I have some of my larger bottles up here along with some of the smaller bottles. And then down here, I've got a bunch of my smaller bottles. And so while I'm painting within arm's reach, I can just rotate this and grab the color that I need. Um, and there, I don't have to really stick them back in any particular spot. I don't have them arranged in any particular way. And of course, it's got a cute little chicken on top and you guys know that I love chickens. So um, this is a nice little way to keep your paint nice and handy and you don't have to dig to the back. You can always just rotate it and grab what you need. If you're like me and you hoard stencils, I've got this awesome stencil album that you can store all of your stencils in. They have little sleeves. You just slide them in and out and it has tons of pages. So if you have a ton of stencils, this is the perfect storage system. Now it holds up to about 12 inches wide by about 18 inches, maybe maybe like 16 inches long. And so lastly, I wanted to show you my craft desk. So I built this myself using um, three of these nine hole organizers from Walmart. Let me see if I can angle it down and show you all of the storage this thing has. So it has this amount of storage on the opposite side as well. And so we just put them together in a U shape. I don't even have all the baskets filled yet. And um, <laughs> we bought a piece of melamine plywood. I don't even know if it's called plywood. Melamine, M-E-L-A-M-I-N-E -E from Lowe's. And it comes in a four foot by eight foot sheet. And so we cut it down and we put it on the tabletop and then we just screwed from underneath up into the tabletop to stabilize it. Um, and these are um, usually uh, seat like they're open on the other side. So we put um, quarter inch plywood up against the back side of the U so that underneath I wouldn't kick things that were in each of these. On this baskets. end, I did not cover with plywood because I sit right there in the middle. So from where I sit, and grab things from those shelves right here. So there's like buckets of paint down here I can reach through and grab, and it's the same on both sides. So on this side over here, I can reach through and grab my hair dryer and things like that. So it makes it really nice when I'm filming a video. I've got my Archon mount here, and here I have two of them that I use at the same time. Um, I've got my backdrop, and then usually my ring light is just behind this little area right here, filming me directly on so that you can um, you know, get good lighting of what you're painting and what you're seeing. The pretty side of my craft room, let me show you the mess. 
<laughs> so this side always is in uh, disarray. I go through and try to straighten it once a week or so, but there's always stuff coming in like shipments and things that I need to unbox. And I, then I try to save shipping supplies and all of that is under there. But um, I have this old uh, chest of drawers that I have underneath here for storage. I've got my printer, my laptop, and then I have two cabinets. Each of these came from Lowe's as well. I have a ton of extra paint and stuff stored up here. Um, I've got my uh, pegboard here with my tape guns, my staple gun, my um, just all different kinds of supplies that I would need um, to grab quickly. And then in this cabinet over here, I've got all kinds of extra things like hot glue guns and whatnot. So um, try to maximize the amount of storage that you have in whatever way possible. But I love the, the pegboard because it makes it easy to just to reach up and grab something. I don't have to open a cabinet door or, sh or ruffle through anything. I can just reach up there and grab my tools quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of my craft room and maybe it's inspired you to create your own craft desk or work area so that you can be more productive. If you're like me starting out, I just started at a dining room table. It's okay. Start where you're at. If you don't have a whole room to devote to your crafts, start by putting all of your stuff on a cart. That makes it easier to just like pile it up on the cart and push it off into another room if you're having guests over and you need to reclaim your dining room. 